Rains are on the way in Calaveras County. The site of the Butte fire is worried about the flood damage that could come from this heavy round of wet weather. And that's not all. A water treatment plant in the county says the river water is so dirty it stopped the plant's filters. The water district blames Butte fire erosion for adding too much mud in that water supply. CBS 13's Lee Martinez toured the water plant today and shows us why plant officials fear this weekend storm will make it even worse. The Calaveras River isn't exactly flowing clear right now, but during rainstorms, the water treatment plant says it actually looks more like rolling mud than water. We got to a point where we couldn't make any water. Jenny Lind, water treatment plant operators, say the water coming from the Calaveras River into the plant is full of all kinds of dirt, debris, and other organic material. And there was a point where we could never get the turbidity under the regulations, so we had to just shut the plant down. The problem started after the Butte fire and gets a lot worse during rainstorms. We're seeing things that we've never seen before in, in this water. The Calaveras County Water District captured this video from a November rainstorm. Erosion from the fire areas muddy the river. River water, which flows into the Hogan Dam. But the dam is low due to the drought, so it's not diluting the water before it gets to the plant. That's when you get this really muddy, thick, soupy water. The plant tested the water's turbidity level, or how many particles are in it. Normal times, it might be something as low as 10, maybe 200 at the highest. In the river, we're seeing up to 800 turbidity levels. The plant says it has enough clean drinking water in its tanks for customers. What it really needs is a pre filter facility. FEMA gave it the money, but it won't be built for another year. In the meantime, the plant needs to be careful flushing the water. If the backflow ponds spill over, dirty water goes back in the river, creating a state environmental problem. We are in uncharted territory. I have no idea this next you know, 10 days of storms how it's going to react. The Calaveras County Water District says customers should not be concerned about their drinking water yet. The pre-filter project gets started next month and likely will not be completed until 2017.